Oh, hello. Yes, um, could you help, please? Am I through to Al Fala Islamic Centre in Braintree? Yes. Yeah, thank you. Um, I watched a documentary about Islam. I've just got a lot of questions, things I don't understand, and I've been doing some reading for the last few months. Could somebody help? Okay. Of course, yes, sure. Yeah. Uh, but when, when do you think you'll be able to come in? Um, well, I speak on the phone. I can speak on the phone or I can speak on Zoom. Oh, you can speak on the phone. Okay, uh, we could do that as well. Uh, when would be a good time to do it? And what is that? I'll put you in with one of the imams. Okay. And you can have a good chat with them. Okay, my name is Robert. Um, has my number come uh, up on your phone? It has. It's ending in 822, yes? That's right, yes. Yes, thank you. Um... I'm I'm puzzled because in the five Islamic prayers you say your prayers in Arabic, yes? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yes. Um but I believe that part of the prayer is you say I don't know whether it's just once or whether it's all five times possibly you could help. Do you utter the words peace be upon you, O prophet? We do, yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't that be addressing well, Muhammad in prayer? Uh, sorry? Wouldn't, when you say peace be upon you, O Prophet, wouldn't that be wouldn't that be praying to Muhammad? I mean you're on your knees, your head touches the ground. Surely that's an act of worship, and then you say peace be upon you the pronoun you means you're addressing Muhammad, O Prophet. Wouldn't you be praying to Muhammad? You're addressing Muhammad in prayer. Uh, we are not praying to him, but basically we are praying for him. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh. but, I mean, I, I understand the point that we are using a pronoun you, know, you. Like, you know, please be upon you. you know? Yes, the so pronoun you. you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, obviously we, we're not praying to him at all. But, you know, when you say peace be upon you, it's more of a pray that may God send peace upon you. Well, uh, but you don't. Uh, yeah. But you don't say, "May God send peace upon you." You say, "Peace upon you, O Prophet." Surely that sentence is addressing Muhammad in in your prayer. Yeah, but uh, it's uh, it's actually a prayer that we're making to God, mm-hmm. which basically is a "May peace be upon Muhammad," meaning that O oh God, send mercy upon Muhammad. Right. Does that, does that make any sense? Not really, but okay, thank you for your explanation. Thank you. Um, the the other thing that puzzled me was the Qibla, the direction of prayer. Um, Western scholars over the last 20, 30 years, they've used mobile phone technology linked to satellites to find the exact position of various ruined mosques or the foundations of mosques and then using yeah. GPS te- using GPS technology, they've been able to find out exactly the direction of prayer. And they found out yeah. that for the first hundred years of Islam, roughly the first century, all of the Qiblas, the direction of prayers, face Petra, not Jerusalem. Oh, yes. Okay, yes. Yeah. So what that is... Is, it was actually 200 years, it was actually during the life of the Prophet Muhammad. There was a change of the Qibla. So originally, Muslims prayed facing Jerusalem. But there's not one Qibla that faces Jerusalem. I don't think you, you listen to me. Um, for instance, the, they've linked the direction of prayer to satellite technology and they found that for roughly the first century the direction of prayer was towards Petra even Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem the foundations of that mosque face Petra Um, then for the next century, some face some face Petra, most face Mecca, some face between Petra and Mecca, and some, believe it or not, they just keep the angle between Petra and Mecca. And so mosques like Cordoba in Spain, they actually keep that angle. They're actually facing South Africa. 
Um, and then from the third century onwards, every single mosque faces Mecca. Um, but it's this discovery that the early mosques face Petra that, that puzzled me. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what to say on that one. I, I wasn't aware of that. Yeah. So, uh, sorry, sorry to just yeah. cut you off there. So basically, please, would you like to continue like, the conversation with someone? Um, some other time? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, you've got my number, my name is Robert, thank you okay. very much, sir. Yeah, okay, just, like, today is Friday, you just, uh, our service is about to start pretty soon. Fine. Uh, hence, I've, I've got to, be, I've, got, I've got to go, but sure. that's why I'm rushing a little bit. But okay. Yes, I that, that, will get someone to come back. That's absolutely okay. fine, some other time then, never on a Monday though, thank yeah. you, bye-bye. Thank you very much, cheers. Bye.